pulled the tasers out. The tasers out. The tasers out. Oh my out. god, I've never seen the it. Tasers tasers out. Out. They tased him. They tased him. No. What is that? What is that? They're tasing they him. They tased him. Tased him, do you mean? With, with, with the, the, like the, they, they shocked him. Electrified him. him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god, I can hear it. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah it's, like, um, it's like an electricity. electric shock, like a severe. Wales has been out of lockdown for 13 days. And already, a serious incident has taken place in the Welsh capital. Four people have been arrested on suspicion of violent disorder after six people were injured in an alleged stabbing in Queen Street, Cardiff city centre. So Queen Street is one of the main streets that give access to the bars in the city, such as Weatherspoons and Lab 22 and City Arms. You have to think about the dynamics of the situation. In Cardiff, there is a massive drinking culture. Before lockdown, there were dozens of stag do's and hen nights taking place around the city at any hour on any given weekend. People travelled up and down the UK for cheap drinks and fancy dresses in order to get absolutely pissed. When the circuit breaker ended 13 days ago, hen do's and stag do's were replaced with local drinkers instead. People are literally drinking from as soon as the pubs and bars open right until 10pm, the cut-off point. Again, Bear in mind, 10pm is just the cut-off point. It's classed as drinking up time, meaning that you don't just finish your drink and leave. Rather, you start winding down in essence. Add to the fact that you have to book into places now. Guaranteed, people are staying in that bar, downing point after point after point. Now, concerning Saturday night and the serious incident, police reported that 15 to 20 people were fighting when they arrived on the scene at 9.50pm. It is thought that part of the trouble had trickled down through Central Bar in Windsor Place. Five minutes prior, again, it is thought that anywhere between 15 to 20 drunkards were involved in the fighting. One group made the run towards Sainsbury's, pursued by the other, one with an actual armchair over their heads. God only knows where this guy managed to get a chair from. And after drinking so heavily, how did he manage to build up enough speed with a chair above their heads and continue to maintain his stride without falling? Kudos to him. One witness reported that it was in Ernest Willow Pub in City Road when he heard loud bangs that either sounded like fireworks or gunshots, though nothing has been confirmed. He went on to say that immediately after 10pm, every drinker was told that they would have to leave immediately. Once he exited the pub, he noticed that police were everywhere. There were police cars and police vans and officers standing on the road. So, out of the six people whom were injured, three people were left with stab wounds and are currently in hospital recovering, and one person suffered head injuries. During the commotion, witnesses said there was a small group of men embroiled in a shouting match with police. The same witness says that she heard someone say someone had been, and I quote, chefed. Street slang for stabbed. Right now, there are a team of 20 officers investigating the situation, and Detective Issa Jones from South Wales Police said... This appears to have been an isolated incident involving local youths, all of whom can expect to find officers knocking at their doors as inquiries progress. He added, this was a violent and completely unacceptable incident, which has understandably caused alarm with the local community. It is also worth noting that one individual was tasered during the incident. Imagine you've just had this situation go off and you're involved in a fight on the weekend. Now, Monday morning, you go back to work and you forget all about it. You continue to be a respectable young adult, you know, who's got a job, who's probably got a missus, could have a kid. And when all the dust has settled, there's a knock on the door and you're arrested for being a complete idiot and fighting in town. Let that just sink in for a minute. Safe.